This short video is intended to show how everyday objects can be used to make logic gates. First, dominoes. Here we use two rows of dominoes to represent a bit. When the bottom row is toppling, that represents a 1, and when the top row is toppling, it represents a 0. This is the schematic for a NOT gate or an inverter. When a 0 enters the gate, a 1 exits. When a 1 enters the gate, a 0 exits. This construction lets a single piece of information propagate to multiple places. An OR gate takes two bits of information and outputs one. If both input bits are zero, then the output is zero as well. If either or both of the inputs is one, however, the output is one. Here we see the input zero one producing an output of one. An input of one zero outputting one and an input of 1, 1, also outputting a 1. Researchers at IBM have experimented with molecular-scaled atomic dominoes. What we see here is a series of these atoms actually set up to propagate information from one place on the chip to another. When one of the molecules is moved, it sets off a cascading chain reaction that eventually flows to an output. Depending on where the input starts, different outputs are possible. The second demonstration is with marbles. Here, instead of two rows of dominoes, we use two tracks and a rolling marble to represent the bit. This is an inverter. A 1 bit turns into a 0, and a 0 turns into a 1. This is a splitter, taking one piece of information and propagating it in two different directions. This is an OR gate. 0, 0 causes an output of 0. 0 and 1 results in an output of 1. An input of 1 and 0 again results in an output of 1. And finally, input of 1, 1 ends up with an output of 1 as well. 